Okay, hello, welcome everybody. Yay, it's another two in a row. This is very cool, right? Another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Hopefully everybody had a great week this week. Uh, we have homecoming here. I've got my Alma Panthers shirt on. I'm trying to stand up because I'm not very tall these days uh, ever, right? Um, yeah, so anyway, homecoming. Hey Kay, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, they've had fun, you know, like dress up days all week long the kids have at school. So that's been kind of cute. Um, Cade really does not participate. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing at all? Which is kind of um, a bummer. Yeah. Hey, Cade out in North Carolina and Philomena out in New York. You guys, thank you. And Nikki in Colorado. I love I'm like, or not Colorado, but Utah. I love like, oh, it's just so cool to have friends like all over the country that come hang out with me. So thank you guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, Lily participates a lot more. I think that's kind of a guy girl thing, but I keep like saying to Kate, you might regret that you don't participate in things quite as much. So hopefully that's not the case. Hey, Susie, um, but I'm trying to encourage him. He's a junior, so you know, he's only got this year and next year. So we'll see. So yeah, with that being said, Lily's got her homecoming dress. She's going to homecoming with a group of friends. No date, which is totally fine. And Kate, he won't do that. He's he's funny. He doesn't want to go just with a group of friends. Um, if he's not going to take a girl, he doesn't want to go. And there's apparently no one that he wants to ask to go to homecoming yet. So I don't know. It is what it is. But <laughs> you got your paper share. Awesome. Good stuff. So now you, so yeah, you have like literally a little sample of every single paper in the holiday catalog. Sandra, Rosemary, yay. This is so fun, you guys. It's all like scrolling on. Because um, when, I feel like, I don't know, last week is like kind of a total bust. It seemed like things weren't popping up very well. And it's kind of fun because now this is different. Like on my version, I can see all of your little profile um, pictures. So I can see like everybody that's on with me and everybody say hello. So thank you guys. Yay, very cool. So anyway, root for the Panthers. Um, say go Panthers. They've got football game tonight. Parade is at five o'clock. So it's just kind of fun. Um, brings people into town maybe that we haven't seen in a while and it's supposed to rain though so like at like two o'clock it's supposed to start raining and then kind of rain on and off all day and all or all afternoon and evening so anyway I've got my umbrella I'm like okay I've got my black and orange umbrella hey Sabina hey Sharon yay this is awesome you guys um so I was like I'm bringing my umbrella out right now to like you know, ward off the rain gods, right? If they think I'm all prepared, maybe they won't send rain our way. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more cards because you guys have been so sweet to send um, cards. And I wanna say too, I think that is like the best part um, about what we do, right? Everybody loves to make cards. So make sure you don't hoard them. Don't just keep them in your stash of cards at home. Send them out and share them with others because it is, like it is the most amazing feeling to like, you know, go to your mailbox and and I can tell like, you know, the Stampin' Up! envelopes, they're like a nice buttery, soft, just beautiful envelope paper. And I know, okay, there's something fun and like just beautiful inside, right? So I know how much I joy I get from, you know, receiving cards and I think we are here to spread that joy to others, right? So make sure you do that. Don't hoard your cards, send them out to people. Make sure everybody knows that you're thinking about them. Just send them a quick card to say hello. You're thinking about them, whatever. Um, but it's just, it's so much fun to receive cards. And obviously, we get a lot of joy out of sending them, too. But so this one is actually a thank you card. And what I love about this is it is, um, have you guys heard of that? Like, they call it like, oh, we have to do this, like, hashtag simple stamping that Stampin' Up's kind of been trying to promote. And this is a perfect um, example of simple stamping because it's basically stamps, ink, and paper. That's it. They kind of throw in every month. They're like, hey, add one more little element. Maybe you can use a punch one month. This month is actually um, sim um, simple stamping stamps, ink, and paper, and designer series paper. And the cool thing is Stampin' Up actually, like, monitors. They'll, like, you know, search on Pinterest or Facebook or whatever um, for people that use that hashtag hashtag simple stamping and if you really kind of follow the rules and use the hashtag they send like little prizes out to people so it's kind of fun um so anyway this is a card that i got from my friend karen um in my downline actually miss karen karen's happy stampers karen so she just made that it was a um she got some prizes at our group meeting the other night and there were things that she kind of thought 
uh, she wasn't going to splurge on it. So that was really fun. She, you know, has her list of things she knows she needs because she's kind of running this as a business. And the couple things that she won were things that she was like, oh, those are super cute, but I don't think I'm going to spend my money. So it was really fun for her to get those. And so she sent me this sweet thank you card, which I really appreciated. Um, and, and again, my point is to also show you guys um, you don't have to be like, you don't have to wow people and it's fun if you want to, but you can do a simple stamping like this. And I loved to do that, like kind of tearing um, kind of the paper along there too. That's something that I haven't done in a long time. And I love that kind of look. It's kind of a, like a little vintage look. You can even sponge along there too. But so just a beautiful thank you card. So, hey, Sandy, how are you doing? So that's my point. Hashtag simple stamping. Uh, post um, your projects with stamps, ink, and paper. And like I said, this month is designer series paper. Stampin' will let you, Stampin' Up will allow you to kind of add one more element to your simple stamping. So share your projects because you might win a fun prize from Stampin' Up directly, which would be very, very cool, right? And then share your cards. It's just awesome to make someone's day, right? To send them a card. So this card is actually from my dad and his wife, Jennifer. And Diana, I don't think you're on here right now, but maybe you'll watch later. Um, Diana Boone, who is also one of my Inkspired Stampers in my downline, um, she made a card like this and shared it. And I was like, hey, I just got a card like that too. So I love, and you know, a lot of this is retired product, but that's really not a big deal. I love that whole kind of pinwheel um, look that she did. Um, I just think it's so cool. And it's funny, I'm like, now I kind of want to pull it apart because I've never made one of these. I kind of want to pull it apart to see how she did it. But very, very cool. Hey, Maddie, how are you? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yes, Kay, wow, for sure. And Miss Kay, I got your card too. Look at her sweet little, oh, there we go. The, that lighting was funny. This is a, um, the colors aren't showing up quite as well, but her cute little basket that she did lots of fun coloring and added some fun embellishments to. And then on the inside, it says, you're the very best, which I thought was super cute. So thank you, Kay. I appreciate your fun little card also. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just so fun. So fun to receive cards, so fun to send cards. So do it, ladies. Don't hoard your cards. Send them out to people. Make their day too. Um, okay, so we have, I'm like super excited. And actually I meant to, so <clears throat> when I, I prepped for Facebook Live last night, I know I feel, love that um, pinwheel too, Philomena. Um, sorry, I get so excited. Like I can't, um, <laughs> you're, no, that's not true at all. You're a beginner, so not as well. That is absolutely not true. I should have probably said some more things about how beautiful your card is, honestly, okay? It's so, she did such a good job. Don't ever say, oh, I'm just a beginner. Because you know what, honestly, this is another great example, really, of stamps, ink, and paper. And then she used designer series paper, too. She used a couple of little um, elements there um, in terms of kind of, you know, I, I always... I always have to add texture. I have a really, I do have a really hard time with that stamps, ink, and paper only. I have to put some kind of bling or embellishment, ribbon, something like I have a real, I think my stamping is simple, but I always have to add some kind of bling, ribbon, some texture to my cards too. So Kay kind of did that there also. But please don't ever say that you're a beginner and not so wow, because this is super cute and it made my day to receive it too. So thank you, Miss Kay. Um, okay, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, all... I get so excited. Yes, Sharon, you're right. Everyone has to begin somewhere. We were all beginners at one time, right? <laughs> I'm glad you're learning so much from the videos too, Kay. That is awesome. And that's what I'm here for, is to hopefully share fun new products and ideas. And and like I said, I do the simple stamping, so hopefully you guys get... Um, it's funny, when people come to classes, they kind of complain about how there's um, when we do our stamping later because uh, you don't have to the ink pads are so juicy You don't have to press really hard to get like ink good ink coverage and if you're struggling make sure you grab um, your stamp and pierce mat that kind of um, spongy mat that we sell that is um, an awesome thing to use underneath your paper to do your stamping so <laughs> Philomena you're so sweet it's very uh, I'm, th thank you that's very very sweet of you I appreciate that Philomena so, okay, so yeah, I have so many, um, sorry, I like it all like off on my side, side tracks because when I got to the Stampin' Up! website last night to prep for today's Facebook Live, I was like, there's so much good stuff to share with you guys. Maybe you've already heard, either you're a demonstrator and you've already read on Stampin' Up! website, or maybe you've seen other demonstrators posting, but awesome, awesome things are happening. So first of all, I was writing about Purple Posy, that beautiful, soft, and this is totally not going to show up on here at all there. 
Oh yeah, there's the lighting is weird because it's so gray today. So sorry, but this is this is not like a gray piece of cardstock. This is that beautiful soft purple posy. Hey Marty, how are you, Aunt Marty? Yay! I'm glad you could join us. So anyway, this paper, well, the paper has always been available, right? But ooh, that like when I do that, it makes like everything really like the lighting is really bad. Okay, so anyway, purple posy. You can now order the stamp or the ink pad calling and complaining and wanting new ink pads and so I do really appreciate that they did not put this ink pad out until they felt the quality was up to Stampin' Up! standards to be able to share with everybody. So with that being said, get online, order your Purple Posy ink pad and your Purple Posy ink refill. Now the reason why I was like, oh I should have like checked my computer before I hopped on because I'm, I don't think that it would sell out, but that was my fear was like, oh, it's already <laughs> on back order or something. So, hey, Amy Joe, how are you? Um, so anyway, if it is, just put your order in, it'll come in, but I shouldn't even say that because I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure they got a ton of it, but I did kind of, it was one of those like, okay, I'm sure everybody, because they just posted yesterday that it was available. So I'm sure tons of people got online and ordered the Purple Posy ink pad and ink refill, but hopefully they have lots and lots to get to everybody, so. Fingers crossed on that one. If not, you know, they know how to make them, the quality's good, everything's great, so it's just a matter of getting them made. So the other very cool thing, and I wanna share the video about it too, because it was a cute little video. The new Stampin' Trimmer is available for demonstrators to order on October 1st. They kept saying it's coming, we're gonna be able to order it by the end of the year, and just recently they announced that demonstrators can order it on October 1st. So what is that, next Tuesday? I think we can only order one, so it's not like I could order five or ten and like get them out to everybody, but at least I'll be able to get one and start playing with it and using it. Oh good, Nikki. <laughs> That's awesome. You're always my helper with that. I appreciate that. Yes, she's saying Purple Posy is still in stock. Good. Okay. So yeah, but don't wait. Get on there and get your Purple Posy ink pad and refill ordered um, so you don't have any. I don't think there's going to be a problem. Sometimes I'm like, why do I even say these things? Just be quiet. Don't say that. Like, don't put it out there in the universe, right? So, but okay. So yeah, back to the stamp and trimmer. So I'm going to be able to order one next Tuesday. I'll get it, start playing with it. I can show you guys. Um, like I said, there's a cute video. It doesn't even really show too much about it. I'm sure they'll probably start sharing more because um, they're super excited because with the whole like um, trimmer blade fiasco, you know, they've been dying to get the new trimmer so we can have replacement blades. And actually, I think they're going to sell the new replacement blades in four packs. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So you'll be able to buy one pack of four blades. And I think they're $12. So the um, trimmer is $25. So that's an awesome price. Then you get four blades for only $12. So very, very cool on that. Um, so with that being said, if you want to get one of these trimmers um, and you're not a demonstrator, if you sign up and get the starter kit, um, if you do it right now, you can't obviously order the stamp and trimmer in your starter kit, but you'll be a demonstrator. So next week on Tuesday, October 1st, you can order your stamp and trimmer. Or if you wait until October 1st, then you could get the starter kit and you can get the stamp and trimmer in there too. So let me know if you guys have any questions about that because that is awesome like woohoo finally some like good news on all these fronts the other thing is that they said the new die cutting machine they they still don't have like a a real time frame hey shannon how are you doing i hope you're good today um but they keep saying so sometime in 2020 because they you know they just don't know so that's good they don't want to give us dates and not be able to follow through on them so anyway, that is in the works. The new, well, the old Big Shot, the new die cutting machine is in the works and will be available sometime next year. So that's only a couple months from now, right? 2020 is, so hopefully it's sooner in 2020 than later in 2020. So um, soon enough, we will be able to have a fun new die cutting machine, which is really interesting because I feel like it was like a week or two after we announced that um, we were retiring the Big Shot and all the accessories that go with it. Um, that down at the stamp studio, I have two Big Shots down there because we need them for classes. And one of them, and I haven't even really tried to fix it, but the handle, it like, 
cranks and then gets stuck and like I can't crank it around and around and one day it literally like kind of like backfired and like shot <laughs> the whole like um, uh, plate and everything like out of the big shot and I was like okay <laughs> we are not using this big shot anymore so I am like in a position where I really need to get another um, big shot die cutting machine so I'm like when when hopefully soon we can get that um, new die cutting machine so I'll keep you posted on that. We don't have any firm uh, details or information, but um, okay. So the other thing, I actually have a few more spots available if anyone is interested in getting the retreat in a box. So we've got the retreat, which is next Saturday locally here in Alma. And so the, that's already um, cut off. Um, but the retreat in a box, if you want to get the retreat sent to you, or if you're local and you just can't make it that day, you can come pick up the retreat in a box. So the retreat in a box itself is $45. If you need it shipped to you, I have to put it in a priority mailbox because of all the stuff that's going to be in there. So it's $60 to ship it to you. But let me show you, because I think I kind of showed you last week, but I needed to make sure I wowed you with... So this is part of the goodie bag. This You get a half a pack, yes, of the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper. So maybe I shouldn't move it. <laughs> Your big shot is so old, it's electric. That is hilarious. I didn't even, that was, that was not a Stampin' Up! one then. I do know that, because I know, this is kind of a funny story. So when the big shot first came out, that's, I had started stamping maybe a couple years before that. And that was the time when I was still just doing it as a hobby. And the big shot is what kind of launched me into like doing this as a business. Cause it was literally at a point where like I was in pending and back then pending was different too. Like I had to make up, I'm trying to remember how that worked, but I had to put like in a really good size order to kind of, you know, spend my full $300 for the quarter. And then let me, it was like another hundred dollars for the first part of the next month and the next quarter. So I had to put a big order in. So I ordered my big shot and a bunch of stuff to go with it. And it, kept me active and then that one that was when I was like okay I gotta start doing something more with this I'm spending a lot of my family's money at that time you know on my hobby so that's when I kind of jumped in and started doing classes so anyway that's a kind of an inspiration if ever you thought like um I didn't I didn't just like start out doing this I've kind of grown into um running this as a business so it's an opportunity for anybody that's bought the starter kit anybody can do classes it's funny because like i am no like amazing stamper but i love the products i love to play with the things that it brings me so much joy and i think that's fun to spread it and share it with others so anybody can uh, be a demonstrator too so how did i get so far off on that here i am i'm talking about the weekend the retreat in a box so here's the other side of the paper i have no idea my brain is like full i can't even think but anyway here's the other side of the brightly gleaming designer series paper. Here's the, I gotta look at that beautiful, all those copper accents. So anyway, in your retreat in a box, which you can still get, the link is over on our Facebook group that you're on right now. So just scroll down. I think I posted that like Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday was the last day to RSVP, but I ordered a bunch of this because I was really afraid it was gonna go on back order and now I have too much. So anyway, if you want a kit, I can get one to you, okay? Or the retreat in a box. So you get a half a pack of that designer series paper. This is not even open. I have a bunch of these bolts. Uh, this is the um, Old Olive and Pretty Peacock Reversible Ribbon, which is some of my absolute favorite ribbon. You also get a full pack of the, can we get that into the right view? The Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements and a pack of those cute little star designer elements. So you get, this is the goodie bag basically, right? So you get all this product. Oops, you can't see, there you go, okay? So all this product in your goodie bag for the Retreat in a Box Plus, I've got some beautiful make and takes that I have planned for the Retreat and the um, Retreat in a Box. Plus I've got some really, really pretty um, treats that I'm making for everybody. So lots of good, fun stuff. I send you a PDF tutorial on how do you make your projects. There are pictures too. So it's um, super easy to put everything together at your convenience at your leisure, at home, on your own time. So if you are interested, let me know. Email me, post on here, um, or grab the link, and you can um, send PayPal right through um, the link to, to um, get a retreat in a box. So if you're interested, like I said, I've got a couple more spots open for that. 
Um, okay, and then the other thing too, the weekend retreat. Hey Liz, how are you doing? Um, let's see, the weekend retreat is coming up on November 1st through the 3rd. So it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday down in Lansing, kind of like the one day retreat. We feed you all weekend long. We spoil you with cute treats. You get a goodie bag um, valued at over $50 in product. And we're actually uh, featuring, I'm gonna show you because I don't have all the stuff right here in front of me, but the Let It Snow Suite is um, what we're gonna be featuring in our weekend retreat goodie bag. I can give you the details for exactly what's included in that. Because um, the big thing is, if you already have, like I know the Snowman Builder Punch is included in the goodie bag. If you already have that, we can substitute for something else. So I always wanna make sure everybody's happy with what they're getting. Um, but so it's the designer series paper, I'm not even gonna say. But anyway, let me know. If you're interested in the weekend retreat, I can give you the list of everything that's in the goodie bag. And if you need to substitute, we can do that, okay? Um, but yeah, if you sign up by next Monday, September 30th, you also get another special surprise in your goodie bag, a little free gift for me for signing up. Um, either deposit or payment in full um, is required by Monday, September 30th in order to get that um, fun extra treat as well. And then I think, I'm trying to remember, final RSVPs are due mid-October. Um, so let me know. I'd love to have you come hang out. It's an awesome, awesome weekend. I know I've said that a million times, but I love that weekend retreat. And speaking of that, I have to get a bunch of pictures printed so that I can actually get a little something done that weekend too. It's been on my list for a really long time to, <laughs> you know, get pictures printed, right? Um, okay, let's see. What else? Oh, so just a quick reminder too, the annual catalog designer series paper share is um, good. It's like available, the buy three packs, get one free annual catalog designer series paper only. It's not holiday catalog paper, just so you know that. But literally as you're um, putting your order in, if you put in three packs of designer series paper and you put that fourth one in, it comes up at zero cost. So it's very, very cool. Again, buy three, get one free. It ends next Monday. September 30th at midnight. So get your order in while you still can. You could get buy three, get one three free DSP and the Purple Posey ink pad and um, refill. And you would have spent at least $30 to get your name in the drawing here um, for the Facebook Live giveaway and the cards that we're gonna make in a little bit too. So win, win, win for everybody, right? Um, okay, let's see what else. Oh, I have to welcome Miss Deanna Clagg to our Inspired Stampers group. We're so glad to have you as a part of our group. Deanna just got the starter kit through Nancy in our group um, a week or two ago, I think. So anyway, welcome Miss Deanna to the Inspired Stampers group. And again, if anybody else is interested, that starter kit deal is always an awesome deal. So generally, the starter kit deal is um, you pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. So it's $104.94 in Michigan or whatever your tax rate is. But it's always an awesome deal. And I'd love to have you become a part of our Inspired Stampers group anytime, okay? If you have any questions on that, let me know too. Um, okay, so I think we are ready. Let me make sure. Yep, okay. So we are gonna do the drawing for these little star designer elements, right? And can you see, so they're this beautiful, feels like not very there, maybe that's better. The lighting is better right there. So beautiful bronze little stars, they're so pretty. Okay, so new rules, ladies, um, and there aren't as nearly as many entries in here, right? Um, basically, all you have to do is share the Facebook Live video. So comment on that, let me know, because some people's settings are such that I can't see the share, so any share counts, okay? But just make sure you put a little comment saying, I shared the video so that I know for sure, because it'll tell me, you know, there are 10 shares, but it'll only list maybe like seven names because maybe three people, their settings are such that I can't see the share post. So anyway, you got your name in here if you shared the Facebook Live video. Um, so, and I post it here and on our Facebook business page, you can share it from any of those places. The other way you get your name in here is if you sign up for my email list. And I had a few people do that too. So if you are not already getting my email, and thank you, Kay, there you go, she's sharing. So she'll get her name in the um, drawing next week. And I'll show you what we're gonna give away in just a moment. Okay, so here we go, shaking these all around. And let's see, oops, I've got like three or four. Whittle it down to one, okay. Oh, and Miss Catherine Lovell. 
Okay, I'm gonna put that right up there. Catherine, so you just signed up for my email list, I'm pretty sure. So Catherine, I don't think I have your mailing address. So email that to me and I will send you out your star designer elements, Miss Catherine Lovell. So congratulations, Catherine. Awesome, okay, very cool. We'll get those sent out to you. And, all right, hold on one sec, because I've got to put other names in here for the other drawing. Um, but aren't you cute? Okay, congratulations, she says. Um, so do you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week? Where is it? Right here. Yay. Okay, so these are the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And these are so beautiful honestly so we've got like a really pretty kind of a deep navy blue um this one i'm gonna call pool party i would say maybe shaded spruce maybe real red or cherry cobbler and this is kind of an orange maybe like a pumpkin pie but the interesting thing is see uh is that better in that light right there you can kind of bend these colors to be whatever you need them to be um we played with these at um the creative convention that I went to and I hadn't really used them very much and so she, this was part of our goodie bag that we got for that convention we used them all weekend long and I loved like it was just a great inspiration for me to see like how easy it was to add all of these colors to our projects so I think I actually used them on both of the cards that we're gonna um, demonstrate in just a little bit so beautiful package of rhinestones and they're in the very back of the holiday catalog kind of near um, like um, New Year's Eve kind of themed stuff, it seemed like, because I had a hard time finding them. Or you can just look them up online. Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels is what you would search for online, but they are beautiful. So again, all you have to do is share the Facebook Live video, or if you haven't already signed up for my email list, that's the other way, get your name in the drawing if you sign up for my email list. So that's it, super simple and easy. So we will draw for those next week, okay? All right, let me make sure. Um, yeah, okay, so now we are gonna do our drawing. They are very pretty, aren't they, Sharon? Yes, and Susie loves them, she says. Okay, so if you put an online order in last week and used the host code, and now I'm like, where's my paper with the host code? Hmm, uh-oh, it's hiding. Uh oh, oh there it is. Okay, it just got moved. <laughs> I was like, usually I have that all out and ready to go, and I did not, so I kind of panicked for a second there, but it's right here. Okay, so if you use the host code, I'll give you that in just a little bit. It's also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Put an online order in, use that host code. You get the two projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live, and your name goes in this drawing to win, and this week was the awesome that stylish scroll embossing folder and then some of the black scalloped edged ribbon so fun and and this is great because you can use it for halloween but if you're not a halloween project maker these are awesome products to use for holiday projects also even that black like a red white and black is a beautiful stunning color combination um so they're not it's not just halloween even though it's kind of in that section of things so okay we had a couple of entries uh online orders i guess i should say so i'm going to toss these around and we will draw the winner and let's see okay make sure i have just one in my hand miss heidi sue congratulations heidi sue you are the winner of the stylish scroll embossing folder and the black scalloped edge ribbon so i will get those sent out to you miss heidi sue Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. I only know one Heidi Sue, so that's why I didn't even say her last name. So sorry about that if that was confusing for anybody. Um, okay, so now this week, where did it go? Oops, I buried it, underneath here. We are going to give away the Mosaic 3D embossing folder. And I love, we've been using this one. This is another, well, I kind of used it actually as part of like a dinosaur because it's kind of, kind of looks like dinosaur skin, right? Um, you could use it for that. Or if you um, have the mosaic, I'm trying to remember what that's even called, you know, that whole suite of products, beautiful with that. I think you would do some really pretty things with this for holiday projects also. So this is what we're gonna give away on uh, next week's Facebook Live. The other thing, and let me make sure, because I always have to like stay on track here, is I want to let you guys know. So if you have not seen already, I've posted a couple of times, you guys are very sweet, 
all your congratulations to Heidi Sue. Um, we are doing an online buy one, get one free sale. I've had a few people participate, but there is still a ton of product left on there. So I wanna explain how the buy one, get one free sale works. I put it in all the details, but I know people don't love to read stuff. So I wanna make sure everybody understands how it works. And hey, Wendy, how are you? Um, okay, so this is how it works. Basically, you shop online and use the host code. It's the same host code that I'm using for Facebook Live because I want you to know that you get your name in the drawing for um, the giveaway and the cards. I'm gonna, you're gonna get so much stuff if you shop online, use the host code, and participate in the buy one, get one free sale. Okay, so sorry, I get like so excited, I can't. <laughs> I'm like, do I ever make sense? I don't know, that's why I have to say things a couple times. So, okay, shop online, use the host code. Say you spend $100 online using the host code, then you get to pick $100 for free out of all of the items that I have listed. It's a separate event on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group where you are right now. It's a separate event. All you have to do is scroll through there. I have pictures of everything. I will tell you. So when I did, I did a buy one, get one free sale for customer appreciation event a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, Lily, we need to take pictures of every single one of. So I have all of my stamp sets, all of my um, die dies and embossing folders and my punches. So she was like, mom, I can do that. So she pulled things out, you know, did it like a million times faster than I could have, of course. The only thing was when I went back through the pictures, I realized like some of the dies, especially, they're like kind of a jumbled up mess because they've just been like, you know, stored in boxes and people have been rifling through everything. And I would have probably pulled them out and like spread them out nicely so you could actually see all the dies in there. But Lily didn't think to do that quite so much. So some of them kind of look like a little jumbled mess, but they're all kind of tucked away and I really wanted to get them posted for the online buy one, get one free sale. So I'm like, okay, it says the name. So you can even Google, um, you know, what they look like if you're really wondering. <laughs> yes, Sharon, Lily did work very hard that day. You're right, so I probably, I should give her more kudos than I am. She's been an awesome helper lately, especially. Other than the photography, I guess I'll say. So anyway, my point is some of those are a little bit jumbled. And so if you're not sure what something is, I can always like pull it out, take a better picture, send it to you, or we can find something online to explain. But they all have the names of everything. So a lot of people are familiar with what's what too, just from the names. So this is again how it works because I wanna make sure I'm very clear on this. Shop online, use the host code. It's NC2ZF2AJ. It's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Again, if you spend $100 on new, so annual and holiday catalog product, right? Go ahead, put your order in, use the host code. Then go over to our Facebook group on the event um, for the BOGO sale and put your name below, just comment, right? So if you see a picture of a stamp set you like, just put your name in there. If you see some framelits or dies that you like, put your name on there and so on. Get to $100 and then I ship those out to you. We do still have shipping charges, so it's generally $8 because I'm gonna put them all in priority mail padded envelopes because then there's um, shipping or um, uh, tracking and insurance on those two because I wanna, you know, don't wanna have any problems with that. So you just PayPal me or write me a check for the $8 for shipping and I get all that sent out to you. Then you also get your name in the drawing to win this embossing folder, the mosaic embossing folder, and you're gonna get the two projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes. So this is an awesome time to shop from the BOGO sale, right? Use the host code and I will tell you, I've been looking at my numbers and September 30th is the end of our Stampin' Up! year. And I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I have probably like, I don't know, seven or $800 to go to meet um, a, like my yearly sales goal. So I would love it if you guys wouldn't mind shopping online. It's an awesome time to get all those great benefits from the BOGO sale, right? Um, but that would help me to meet my sales goal, which is um, September 30th, Monday. So Monday at midnight, if you would be so inclined to put your orders in, shop from the BOGO sale, get all the fun free stuff through that, and then help me meet my sales goal. I would really, really, really appreciate that. So thank you guys. And let me know if you have any questions on the BOGO sale, how it works, what the heck I'm talking about. Just send me a message and we'll get you all squared away. So, hey, Rosa, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, so, okay, I think we are ready to go. And I am hoping and praying. I think I flipped the phone 
funny somehow and that's what made it like kind of go awry last Friday and then of course I try to like move the phone again and it just it would not like fix itself and I never have had that problem before and then of course right after I finished Facebook live I try to go live again and I had my phone where I normally have it and then I moved it to show you the picture projects and there was no problem at all I did it like two or three times and never had a problem so okay we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that when I move the camera this time I don't like flip my wrist funny I don't know I don't know what I did but so here we go we're flying through the air give me just a moment sorry I know it gets kind of funny and blurry we're gonna, let's see, get ourselves set here. I'm trying to get something's funny on my mount here. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna pray when I flip this over. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Yay. All right, let's see, almost. Oh, that's too much, sorry guys. There. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So here, this is the host code that I was referring to that if you use to shop on the BOGO sale, the NC2ZF2AJ, you are going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate and your name goes in the drawing, right? To win them. And you can see it better, the mosaic 3D embossing folder. The one thing I will tell you is we're not doing like the free embellishment because we've already got so much good stuff that you're getting with the BOGO sale and the cards and your name in the drawing. So we're just not doing the free embellishment um, if you shop from the BOGO sale. If you don't shop from the BOGO sale and you just shop online, then definitely you still get the free embellishment. So either way, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. So, okay. So you guys, I have been having so much fun. I hope you have too with our product of the week. And I have to, okay, so here, we've got our Mary Moose stamp set, right? So if you guys haven't checked this out yet, I think, well, I love the font too. There's, font is such a big thing for me. I don't know what it is, but I like the super cute, like loopy font here in this happiest of holidays. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas is super cute. How about Merry Christmas? <laughs> have a cozy Christmas and enjoy the stillness of the season. So guys, because I've seen a lot of people adding the scarf. If you stamp it right on there, great. But a lot of people are stamping it and cutting it out and then adding it to their mousse to kind of give it a little more 3D look. So the thing is, you have to use your paper snips to cut that out, which I did on one of my projects. I'll show you that in just a sec. Then um, we've got some pretty little trees. Oh, this little hat. We might have to, oh, should have put that hat on somewhere, right? A fun little star and then another mousse kind of outline and then the full um, image of the mousse. So really, really cool stamp set. And this is one that I wasn't really drawn to at first, I have to tell you, and I've seen so many cute projects with it that you know how it works, right? I had to get it too. So cute, Mary Moose stamp set, right? And then the coordinating moose punch, which we have right here, and it looks like it's backwards, right? But when you flip it over, you can't see it very well, but that's how, obviously, it works perfectly with our images there. So, okay, let me show you what we are gonna make. And I gotta grab some grid paper. And there we go. So we've got that. Rosemary, what do we have? Totally off topic. But I think I'm the first person <laughs> to turn your heat on. Oh, 66 degrees in your house right now. Oh, yeah. I know that was always the joke, right? That like one week you have air conditioning on or maybe even day and then like the next day you can have your heat on. Yeah, I am not turning my heat on yet. I like to just like um, <laughs> get all snuggled up. Um, but yeah, okay, good for you, crazy lady turning the heat on already. <laughs> all right, so, all right, I think we're good here, right? Sorry, I'm like, I realized my paper. Are we in view? I think we're in view now. Okay, so you guys wanna see what I'm gonna show you how to make? It is this beautiful, <laughs> yeah, okay. What is it, probably like 90s where you are? Yeah, well, you won't want it to be our temperature like in another, I don't know, another little bit. So that's for sure. Okay, so fun. I've got some kind of detail and it's a little bit hard to see. I'm seeing on the camera, but I added some little glitz and glimmer to the tree. And then if I get super close, you can see these are some of those rhinestones in that pretty blue color. Now, the one thing I'm going to point out is I wish, and I'm going to try to do better, but my punch, I should have gotten in there a little bit further because I, 
I don't know, there's something kind of funny about how my scarf is hanging out on my moose's neck. Like it doesn't go up quite as high. Either that or maybe I could have trimmed in there. We'll see, I might have to do that. But we also used the ever so versatile, uh, the ornate frames dies that are part of the Halloween bash or suite or the spooktacular, whatever that Halloween suite is. Anyway, can you see the super cute little stitching detail on there? Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then I've seen so many people decorating the inside. I had to do that too. And I loved that. Enjoy the stillness of the season. So, okay, let me show you how we are going to make this project. Okay, let me get a couple things out here. Get our ink so we're ready to go. And you can see <laughs> on here, so I already, yeah, I knew you guys didn't want to watch me use my paper snips, so I have already stamped his scarf in Night of Navy ink on Whisper White cardstock, and then I used my paper snips to clip that out. And I had to put it in that bag so I wouldn't lose it. Okay, so we are, let's see, where to begin for real, right? All right, I think we're good. Um, okay, let me give you measurements of things. So we first of all have our, this is a Knight of Navy card base. Those are kind of in the way. Okay, so I love that I'm not sideways. That really freaked me out last week. Sorry, I don't handle like that kind of stuff very well, <laughs> as you may be realized. <laughs> okay, so our Knight of Navy card stock, along the 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. And you know what I think I might do? I'm gonna start showing you guys when I get my new paper trimmer, I'm gonna like actually cut the card stock. Cause for people who have like never made a card or not many times, it seems so like simple to me cause I've done it so many times, but I think I'll, I'll show you guys that too. So anyway, super simple, easy, standard, like standing up this way, kind of a card, right? Okay, so we've got our, our crisp fold on our card there. Then we have a piece of, and I love this perfectly plaid or wrapped in plaid, whatever. I think it's wrapped in plaid designer series paper is awesome with the moose images. I think, um, cause you know, it kind of seems masculine or manly, right? That's the other reason to get this Mary Moose stamp set, right? Is, you know, maybe you don't even have to use those sentiments if you don't need it for Christmas, but a lot of these images are very kind of masculine images. So they're great for those masculine, manly, cards that we always need that we never have enough of, right? As well as this paper. So you need this paper too, because it doesn't have to be um, holiday necessarily, right? Okay, so this designer series paper measures one and a half by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I have another little piece of more wrapped in plaid designer series paper. We're using that cute little polka dot that measures one and a half by three and three quarters. And all I did, actually, I'm going to do this right now. I just kind of cut it up at an angle. This is my new favorite thing to do. I've saw it on a card recently. I'm like, huh, look at that. So I just snipped a little bit off the corner there. That's it. Okay, I think, oh, and then on the inside, this whisper white piece that goes right inside here measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I think that's it. Everything else is just kind of some scraps to do our stamping and die cutting on. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a piece of, this is soft suede cardstock. Right, let me get my stamps out here too. I had so much fun with all of these stamps too. I, you know, I used a few on the outside of the card and then I was like, oh, we got to do the inside also. So um, I'll show you. The other one is really fun on the inside too. And look at the glare we're getting. So this is great, you guys. Maybe your prayers worked because it seems like it's a little bit sunny out. Um, get, yeah, wow, lots of, lots of glares, don't we have going on? Okay, hold on. This table's going for a ride. Okay. Bear with me one sec. Might get a little bit darker, but not quite as much glare. Okay, there, that seems a little bit better. Okay, so we've got our mousse, so just the outline. So we're gonna, oh, so here we go. Ladies, when you stamp, no full body weight stamping, no squish, 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 just tap, tap, tap. And you see how I didn't get any ink on my clear block. You do not need a lot of pressure, okay? If things are not going well for you, 
press firmly, don't wiggle or rock. I do kind of use my fingers to make sure all of the ink that's on my stamp transfers onto my cardstock. You can see, right? Isn't he cool? Look at that awesome manly moose, right? Um, oh, that's what I was gonna say though. I didn't bring my paper piercing mat, but imagine if this were my paper piercing mat, I could just put this right underneath here and then stamp on this if I need a little more cushion, okay? Especially like down at the stamp studio, I have um, like six foot long, they're plastic tables though. So they, they give a lot. So I understand the stamping is a little bit more difficult than on like a wood table. So definitely in those cases, I like to move over to the edge where like the legs of the table are. That helps for better stamping. Um, and then using that uh, paper piercing mat underneath, or, uh, that's another great thing to use to help with your stamping, especially with these clear photopolymer stamps. Okay, so pretend that I inked up my little scarf in Night of Navy ink, stamped it on a white piece of cardstock, and then paper snipped it. And I got as close as I possibly could. Uh, I'm not even going to pull it out. But anyway, I got as close as I could to the blue because I didn't really want too much white showing. But I think that is important. I'm trying to show that. You guys can kind of see. There's a little bit of white around the edges. I think it, it looks better if you have a little bit of white rather than cutting right up to the blue. Um, there's something about that for me. It was funny, and I realized that when I had Lily um, cutting some leaves out for me because we didn't have a dye. Um, and so she got really, really close to like the stamped edge, and I realized, oh, I should have kind of told her. I always cut a, just a little bit outside of that stamped edge just to give a little kind of shadow around things, which is really how like when you punch, that same thing happens. You can see there's a little bit of an edge around um, the, the cardstock there beyond where the image is stamped. So, okay, so we did that. We can also, you know what we do need to do though? We need to die cut this piece and then do our stamping, which isn't typical, um, but I wanna make sure that I get it where I want it on there. We can stamp our Merry Christ Moose though. So we can do that. We've got, so we're gonna use Knight of Navy cardstock. My little, whoops, that is upside down. Merry Christ Moose. And I've been using my finger a lot to kind of help me put the stamp down. I don't know what that is, but I like that too. Nice, easy tap, 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 right? Okay, so what do we have going on the inside? Why don't we stamp that, okay? So we can do, I'm just gonna have to cut those guys out. So we're gonna grab our Whisper White piece for the inside, this beautiful, so much detail. We were talking about that at class this week too. Um, how much detail Stampin' Up! is getting on their stamps, kind of in comparison, you know, to back in the day. Um, but look at all of that. Isn't that, it's like a beautiful pine tree, right? Might like to have that in your yard. Okay, and then one more. So we've got Knight of Navy, and we're going to use our sentiment. There we go. Enjoy the stillness. You guys seeing? Tap, tap, tap. Nice and easy. It's almost like I'm barely getting enough ink. But then I press with my finger, but don't wiggle or rack. Okay? All right. Enjoy the stillness of the season. Love it. Okay, now we're gonna do, let's die cut these things, right? Is that all I need to do? Where's my card? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine and scoot these things out of the way a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Oops. All right, so we're gonna put that one there and then this one here and, okay, so I'm using my what are these called? The stitch, Stitched Nested Labels dies. We have the one that we're gonna use. I always put that. So this is the second largest. So that's the largest, this is the second largest. We're gonna just put that right on there and cut that baby out. And then, like I have been saying, the super duper versatile, right? The um, ornate frames dies that are part of the Halloween suite. Oops, I'm using a few of these. That's right, I remember why because I used a couple of them last week. Those are the two I used last week on um, the Halloween card that we made. I'm glad we're such ghoul friends, I think it was. And then this is the one, the cute little label that's got the stitching. You can kind of see that detail. So this one, I need to make sure that it goes where I need it to go. Okay, that looks straight. All right, so here we go. 
cut these guys out. And then we've got to do a little more stamping. So we're going to pop. Ooh, I love it. So you guys see. Can you see the little stitching? So cute. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. That just makes me laugh. There's something about it. Just kind of funny. All right. Let me get this baby out of here. All right. Let's see. Staying organized, ladies. Putting stuff back where it came from. Let's see, so now we need to do our stamping. And I want a scrap piece of paper to go underneath here because I like to keep my, my grid paper pretty. And so my, my tree is gonna kinda go off the edge a little bit, I think. So tap, tap, tap. We're gonna do that actually. Let me scoot this over a little bit. So we're gonna stamp one tree right here. Oops, ooh, okay. So that happens sometimes if I had my, um, you know what I can use? Let's grab, let's grab a catalog. Okay, so when in doubt, now I'm gonna flip that though. So this can kind of act like our stamp and pierce mat. So I didn't press hard enough. So we're gonna try this again. Flip it over. The stitching is not quite as nice on the back side, but it's gonna work for us today. Okay, so I'm gonna, maybe I didn't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp once. And then actually, I kind of, um, I'm not inking again, but I want just a faint little tree image back there, right? I like that. And then we're going to do one more full stamped image. I'm going to put it down just a little bit. Okay, so there, there, we've made our forest, right? Scoot this guy out of the way. All right, I think we've done all of our stamping. Okay, so when you're in a pinch, grab your cat catalog. Put something underneath that little scrap paper if you don't want to stamp all over it, right? And that surface is helpful when you are stamping. Okay, so now let's grab our mousse here. And I think I need my glasses because I want to try to get this punched. It is a little bit hard to see. You can kind of tell um, there's so much detail on him. Yeah, there's no good way. Okay, I'm looking. I thought maybe I just didn't do a good job punching, but it doesn't cut in there quite as far as I wish it would. But I think we can use our paper snips. You know, I'm being super anal about this too. You guys can't even probably see what I'm talking about. It's almost like I want that to cut in. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to cut in just a titch more inside here. Better. Okay, so I am going to use my little silicone craft sheet because this is a teeny tiny little scarf, right? Where's my snail? Right here. Okay, so I don't want to get adhesive all over my work paper. So if I put my adhesive or my paper on my silicone craft sheet when I go off the edge right there, it's almost like it rolls up and it will stick back on what I was working with. It doesn't get all over my work paper. Okay, actually I gotta set that down. So then we're gonna add the scarf and I can tell I like it better already. There we go. So there's the little Mr. Mr. Moose with his dapper scarf. Isn't he cool? <laughs> Just sauntering through the forest. Okay, all right, so we are going to put some dimensionals. Let's grab these babies, okay. We're gonna add a couple dimensionals here and one there, and one there, and, okay, so those are all ready to go. We also, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this one, so don't mind the fact that I messed up. Good thing to know though, right? I should have mentioned that before. So when you don't like how things stamp, just turn it over, stamp on the other side. You cannot see, I mean, if you hold this up to the light, you'd be able to see that tree through there, but once we put it on the card, you're never, okay. Now, I think we can kind of start putting things together. Okay, so we're gonna grab our designer series paper. I'm gonna add my adhesive on here. And then, whoops, this is just gonna go right on the front of our card. So just kind of down along the bottom. Then I'm gonna add some more adhesive on this piece here. Oops. I feel like I'm like flipping all over the place. 
maybe put that right about there, we're gonna say, and then we're gonna put some ribbon down, okay? And I never do this, because I really don't like holding my ribbon down like this, but this is the one case, because I just want a strip going across, and obviously there's no other way to do that besides adhering it down. Usually I would wrap this around the back and then tack it on the back side. But this is the only time I tack my ribbon down. I like it to float, I guess is what I'm saying. It just kind of floats there and then you would tack it on the inside on the back. But since we're not wrapping it around, I have to adhere it to the card, okay? So that's all we did there. A little bit there. Oh, don't, okay. So yeah, don't pull too hard, it'll unravel. <laughs> Keep happening, right? Okay, so now I think we are ready to put this little stitched nested label die on here. And my little moose is just gonna be, right, sauntering through the forest. So we've got this, maybe right about there. We can put our moose on. And then there's one more little bit of detail. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I think because it's so different than um, you know what I normally use. I'm, I usually use all the cutesy stuff. So we're gonna add our little Merry Christ Moose, right? Now, okay, for the super fun part, have you guys seen the, okay, so this is called Shimmery Crystal Effects. And I love, so we had crystal effects before, but this has got a little bit of you can kind of, can you see a little bit of shimmer in there, right? And I love the new tube because it's, um, I don't know, it seems to be a little bit easier to use. So you do want to be careful not to squeeze too hard. You can also use a fine tip glue pen. I kind of wanted um, little clumps. So you can see, and I, what I'll do is I'll squeeze a little bit and I'll see it kind of coming out and then I'll kind of smooth it because I don't, I don't want huge globs of it, but I do, I want a little, um, I want enough so that my crystally ice stamp and glitter will stick on here. So this does take just a little bit of time, but the effect is beautiful. So we're just gonna keep kind of adding so I'm just squeezing gently, not too hard, because again, you don't want big globs of this. And I'm trying to remember, this is part of the Frosty Sweet. I can't think of the name, but the kind of pretty purples um, and blues. If you're looking in the catalog, that's where you're gonna find it. Okay, I think that looks good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put our cap back on. You can see it kind of does pull up a little bit of the color. You can always clean that off later. Then for the fun part. So this is my little trick. I love to use these little Ziploc storage. You know, I don't know, you get a number of them in a package. So this is our ice stamp and glitter with, oh, look at, fun little crystally snow kind of look. So trying to be careful not to spill this all over the place, but basically I like to just pour this on here shake it around on my card a little bit, make sure I get it stuck. And then the excess, I'm just gonna tap off right into my little um, container. And I usually even just put this right back in there. I make a little label or write right on there. And then can you see, so this one I can see a little bit better, a little bit, it's still not great oh, there. The lighting is not so good, but it's so much fun to work with. Just adds a little bit of shimmer and sparkle and fun, little bit of detail, right, to your card. So, oh, and then we gotta add to the inside, right? Let's do that. We'll put our sentiment on the inside and then we've gotta add one more little bit of bling with my new favorite holiday rhinestone basic jewels. So we're gonna flip this up. We're gonna put this right in there. And then, so you can see, I have used a bunch of these guys, but I've got a few left. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Okay, we can still do this. I did stamp, if you can see, faintly, right? Just a little bit of stamping um, with this little, kind of like snowflakes maybe, right? So let's do that real quick. 
Whoops, normally you would do this in the beginning before you put anything on your project, but that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna just add a few of these. And I should be, I should tell you guys, turn your stamp a little bit so it doesn't look completely uniform, you know, like you held it the same way and stamped everywhere. You kind of want to turn your stamp as you're stamping so that they don't all go in the same direction. Okay, then one last. Now we can add our little bling. So I'm going to use my blue rhinestones and I'm going to put one maybe right about there. We are going to add, let's see, we'll put one there. And one more, maybe one over there. And there we go. So we've got some fun, beautiful little glitter. I love, oh, I didn't even mention that too. This was the denim ribbon. I'm loving that denim ribbon. Great, again, for masculine projects. I've used it a lot with the plaid paper too, I guess with the navy um, denim, right? It w works really well with the navies in the plaid, wrapped in plaid paper too. So, very, very pretty, huh? Love the little sparkle on the detail. Okay, so that's one of the cards that you will receive in the mail if you put your online order in and use the host code. Shop from BOGO. Have lots of fun, ladies. Um, people have really been enjoying that too, uh, the BOGO sale. So take advantage of that while you can. It's only through September 30th also. So through next Monday at midnight, um, the sale will be going on. So thank you, Kay. I'm glad you liked that card. Okay, so... Try not to confuse myself. I'm just going to move all these over because I know I need some of these ink pads for the other project. Okay, so let me show you the next card that we are making. So how about this guy? Isn't he fun? Another awesome moose with the happiest of holidays. I love the plaid. Again, I think that works so well with the moose, right? And then this ribbon is really fun too. This is the... Oh, let me look at the name of it. It's a, it actually says real red. I think it can go either way because I used it with a cherry cobbler base. But this is, yeah, the real red curly ribbon. And we actually got this ribbon at Creative Convention the other weekend too. So that's why my name is on it because we have to label everything so that we don't lose it, right? Or if we do, because everybody gets all the same stuff, then you can get your ribbon back. Okay, so love that ribbon. It does fray a little bit, but it's kind of fun too. Um, and then here's the inside. So I love this. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas with that. Don't need any of those inks. Okay. All right, my God, we need these right here. And then I'm going to grab my other stamps. Okay, so let me, oh, and then I always set everything out and then like, okay, let's give you measurements. So same idea, this card as well. We've got a cherry cobbler base. Okay. So again, oops, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our nice crisp fold on our card. As always, I love that. It's like my thing. Okay, then let's see, these are all just scraps that we're gonna stamp and die cut from. These are the pieces. So inside, again, standard measurement for an inside card, four inches by five and a quarter inches for that white piece there. And then we have a piece of shaded spruce cardstock that measures three and a half by four and a half. And then the white piece is just graduated in a quarter of an inch. So we are at three and one quarter by five or four and one quarter, three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then the only other, this got slipped underneath here. Love that designer series paper with some fun pine cones on the back. Right, this piece measures two inches by five and one quarter inches, okay? So let's see. Again, we are going to do, so we don't need any of these just yet. We are gonna stamp on that, okay? So let's see, we're gonna do our stamping. So this time, I wanted a little bit darker color on my mousse. So I'm still using uh, soft suede cardstock, but this time I used an early espresso ink because it stood out, and I'll show you. But it stood out just a little bit more. So here's the difference, right? Here's the card we just made with soft suede ink on soft suede cardstock. And then here's the other with the early espresso ink on soft suede cardstock. So just a little bit darker, but it just stands out a little bit more, which I liked, okay? Then what other stamping can we do? Okay, so 
I've got my little strip. This is just like a little half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock that we are gonna stamp happiest of holidays. And maybe put it right, let's see, I brought, hmm, let's try that, we're gonna flip that over. And I brought another strip, <laughs> just in case, because this is tricky, ladies, trying to get this. All right, well, that got a little smudgy. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Maybe the third time is the charm. This, it was fairly straight, but then like I smudged it a little bit. So let's see. There, that's better. <laughs> you know, Philomena, I like the espresso more too. Although it's funny, on this one, I kind of wanted it to blend in just a little bit more. So it's, yeah, what it's whatever your preference is, right? Okay, so we've got that stamped. We've got that. How about we do the inside of our card and then we'll have our stamping done, okay? So we've got this piece going this way. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Not for real, but we can kind of pretend around here, right? Okay, and then we need our shaded spruce ink with, you guys see, nice, easy tap, 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 right? Tap, 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 no full body weight stamping. I'm gonna press that one down there. Ooh, look at that. There is something you guys maybe don't get the full effect because it's not quite as close, but look at all that detail on that little guy. And then I used uh, Daffodil Delight ink. So again, we're going to maybe put one star there and one star right there. And that is good. So super duper cute. Right. Okay, moving these guys all out of the way. All right, so we don't need him. So let's punch our moose. We'll get him done. And then I think we just have to do one die okay so here we go sorry i'm so busy like looking at it for myself to get it punched right i don't know if it's in the view it probably happens more than i know all right i think that looks good so this one does it just takes a sec to make sure you've got them all lined up the way you need him to be all right so the only thing that we need to die cut is a circle this is the largest stitched shape circle. We're going to just grab that. Came right out of that one right there. So we're just going to die cut that. And then we can put our card together. Okay. So here we go. Put that right on there. Sorry, that was wiggling a little bit, wasn't it? Let's scoot this stuff. All right, so that's all we need there. So I think we are ready to kind of put things together. So let's see, my snail right here. Okay, crafter math has happened. <laughs> As I look up and look around, wow, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, there's a little something on there. So we're gonna flip that around so it gets covered up. A little smudge right down there. But we are gonna cover that up right now with this piece. So I'm gonna add some adhesive, maybe right about there like that. We're just gonna tack this one right on there. Looks good. Okay, now we need a bunch of dimensionals on the back of this, because I want it. And I like to put one right in the middle there so it doesn't buckle. If you just put them around the outside edges and don't have one in the middle, it tends to kind of buckle in a little bit there. So, all right, we're gonna pull these babies off. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't go too far, because you know what we need to do? We need to wrap our ribbon around there. Okay, so these are sticky down here. Okay, remember that, Amy. Okay, so we're gonna use, haha, -ha, isn't this fun, this curly little ribbon? <laughs> so cute. Let's see, those are the sticky ones, yep. All right, maybe I, <laughs> let's pull that over a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna put it on our card because I'm afraid I'm gonna stick it to things I don't want to stick it to, but that's gonna be all right. Okay, so if we put this, Right on there, that looks good there. Okay, so now just pull enough off. You guys know me, I always keep this ribbon on the bolt because I think it's much easier to work with that way. I'm gonna scoot it down a little bit there. Okay, we're gonna make our bow. Pull that through there. This ribbon is really easy to work with too because it's um, not slidey, do you know? You know, a lot of times like, kind of comes undone when you're pushing and pulling on things, but this one, that does not happen. There, okay. 
So we've got that. Now we can add our circle. Okay, we are going to put this piece, I think I put maybe right about there, right? Now we need to, and this is my new favorite thing to do, right? Is just kind of, I saw this somewhere online. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Simple, easy, just kind of make that little slit there. And I want that, the one thing is to make sure you've got enough room for your moose and still be able to read your happiest of holidays. And so I just kind of eyeballed this and cut it off so it might hopefully kind of tuck underneath my moose there. Okay, so we are gonna add this piece and I just don't want it to come off the edge so that when you put it in an envelope, it doesn't get all rumpled up there, right? We're gonna add a couple more dimensionals to our little moose man. And you can see, so not a difficult card. You guys know me and my fairly simple stamping, but just adding a, a little bit of the designer series paper, this fun curly red ribbon, I love that. And then the final finishing touch with a couple of our, and can you guys see they do come in a few different sizes. So let me point those out. So this one was a little bit bigger green maybe shaded spruce, you might even be able to call it, or garden green, depending on what color you need it to be. And just kind of add, oops, I'm gonna move that over just a little bit. There we go. Add a couple of little rhinestones there. So let me show you the different sizes, right? So we've got, and I don't know what, you know, it's like millimeters or something or other. Most of them are this smallish size. We've got two rows right here of kind of a medium and then two rows down here of a large. So mostly small, two rows of medium and two rows of large. You can kind of see with what's left, right? But actually, this is what we're giving away next week too. So there, you can see it a little bit better. And there are more back down underneath there, but two large, two medium, and then the rest are smallish, which I tend to use these so much more anyway. So they know what they are doing, that stamping up. Oh, okay, let's put the inside of our card. Isn't that funny? That piece looks really big. <sighs> I think it's right. Yeah, it is. As I'm putting adhesive on it, I'm like, gosh, it looks huge. But it's four inches by five and a quarter. It fits in there perfectly. So this is my favorite. Oh my gosh. So thank you. <laughs> Yes, that was me. So that's why I'm here, to help you maybe come up with ideas, things that you would not have thought to do. That is exactly why I'm here. So thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I hope everyone did. I love, like I said, this Mary Moose stamp set. So fun for Christmas or masculine projects. Works super well, obviously, you can see, with the plaid i love the wrapped in plaid paper with your mousse right you can make you can make awesome like birthday cards too right even something like this really instead of merry christmas you could make that a birthday card i'm sure because that's not super christmasy looking right yeah but the the plaid i think is just so fun and then the punch you can never go wrong with punches, right? So, okay, so don't forget, ladies, make sure to shop the BOGO sale. You will automatically get both of these projects that I demonstrated today, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Mosaic 3D embossing folder. Plus, you get buy one, get one free. So buy current, annual, and holiday catalog product, and then come over to our Facebook group right here and put your name on any of those items you want, and I will ship them to you. So thank you guys so much. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, pray for the rain to like uh, go right past us so we can enjoy the parade and homecoming football game tonight. And yeah, so have a great weekend, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed these projects and we will be back here right next Friday. We will be here again. So thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.